Snow and ice have made it difficult for many of us to get around the past couple of days. So what happens to those delivering nutritious meals for our seniors in need? Luckily, our local organizations have a plan in place, and we got a first-hand look at exactly how. I thought I was on deathbed because I was in the hospital for two months. A cracked tailbone. Now Hattie Robinson can barely walk, let alone cook. Fake beans. Rice and corn, that's my favorite right there. So someone else does the cooking for her. A hot meal. I've been tempted, but I've never eaten one. Delivered straight to her door. How are you? Can we come in? Yes, come on. You got your hot meal. And even when the snow and ice affect the roads, the Peninsula Agency on Aging has a plan. They delivered boxes like this on Friday to last them through the storm. A shelf staple meal they delivered to 420 people. Dry milk, we got a dessert, cookie, and juice. We have procedures in place that if we, we have them stored at the office, the shelf staple meal. So if we know there's a problem or we're not going to be able to deliver, we can get them out that very morning. And the volunteers are a vigorous bunch. She's in number 26. How'd you make out the last couple of days? 97 year old Miss Rosina Armfield says the meal she got last week helped her through the weekend. It really means a lot to me because I don't cook. So that's a big help. It's not just food, it's friendship, they say. I look forward to them between 11 and 12 to come to that door. For some, it's the only conversation they may have all day long. Just like the saying, conversation is food for the soul, and a hot meal doesn't hurt either. When your spirits are down because of illnesses and you can't get out and do the things you want to do, um, God sends somebody to help you. Today, that somebody was this volunteer, Jerry. I love them. Mm -mm. The people who are volunteers, they are volunteers, the people who deliver. Last year, they delivered 143,000 meals. Ah, 